Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Minecraft rain detectors. Rain detectors guys, I'm gonna go through three different rain detectors. You can see them all behind me. I've made one of them. Uh, the other one is a very low tech one and uh, Cupfan has made the third one. And they all have different strengths and weaknesses. And uh, yeah, it's kind of shiny. Um, I would consider using all three of them actually in different circumstances. Now, why would you need a rain detector in Minecraft? Well, there are several reasons actually. First of all, um, Cupfan's model works in uh, non-weather biomes. So for instance, in deserts. So if you want to find out when it rains, when you're in the desert, you can build his version. Uh, you also might want to consider having rain detectors if uh, to sort of control parts of your world. So you can say, well, when it rains, I want to build a roof over um, my porch or whatever. And uh, yeah, that would uh, that would uh, be possible with with my version, which is this one here, for instance. Um, or you might uh, be down in the mine or something like that and you want to see if it rains when you get out so then you can have it like um, to indicate if it rains before you get out also the chance of catching fish is higher in minecraft when it rains than when it doesn't rain so a rain detector is always a good idea in any minecraft world okay so we have three designs here this is my design it's based around the observer block and a piece of wheat uh, that is not hydrated. Uh, so basically the idea is when it rains here, this soil will be hydrated, become hydrated, and that will fire this redstone lamp off, uh, sorry, this observer off, which will uh, power up the redstone lamp. So that from this you can take a signal, and I will show you some applications of this in just a minute. The second one is the uh, oldest of hills, I think, uh, and it's a sort of semi-manual rain detector. It's based around the fact that, or the idea that when a cauldron is filled up, it gives off a redstone signal to a comparator. So basically, if we leave a cauldron out and it rains, it'll fill up with water. This will start being powered and that will turn the redstone lamp on. Now, you have to empty this cauldron manually, so that's why this is kind of a semi-manual uh, rain detector. I, I gotta say though, it's so, so simple, so I, I like it. Uh, now the third one is Cupfan's design, and this one is is much more accurate and, and fast than any of these two, and that's good and that's bad. Now this one has one big flaw, and that is that it doesn't work uh, in the pitch of night. So at the in the middle of night, it doesn't work. Uh, and also it's a little bit more complicated and bigger, but I will try and explain how it works. Uh, it, it uses two daylight sensors, one set to night mode and one set to, to day mode. And then it uh, basically runs a comparator from this um, daylight sensor in subtraction mode into this torch. At the same time it runs a signal from the night daylight sensor <laughs> into this, uh, this torch and also compares with this comparator. Now, what happens when it rains is that the sun is up, but it gets a lot darker. So that means that this comparator and that comparator will both give off signals, thus lighting, lighting both these torches, and then that means that this torch turns on and this uh, redstone lamp turns on. But this is basically an AND gate. So only when the difference between the night light sensor and the daylight sensor is none or negligible will this lamp turn on. So that means if it is pitch black this this won't work because this won't uh, yeah it just won't. <laughs> so there you go there you have the three um, rain detectors and that you can, I, I think it's the only three you can make in Minecraft I'm sure there are more but these are the only ones I know about. So we've changed the weather to rain, and Cupfan's design instantly turns on. Now these two are slower, uh, and th this one is even more random. So when we uh, have some water in this cauldron, you will see that this turns on. 
This rain detector will take a little while, usually around 30 seconds or so, and then we will see this lamp flicker. There you saw it, the uh, soil became hydrated and we got a signal from this. Now this actually takes quite a long time to uh, fire off. So finally, after a lot of waiting, <laughs> um, the cauldron filled up a little bit there. So now let's have a look at what happens with these rain detectors when the rain stops. Now cup fans instantly recognizes that rain stops. The cauldron will do nothing until we manually empty it. Um, and this one, well, this one will fire uh, when the soil gets dehydrated again. Um, however, there are seven states of dehydration, so this will have actually keep giving off slowly uh, signals, uh, seven signals after this uh, rain has stopped, um, assuming it doesn't start to rain again. So uh, what I ended up with in my world uh, when I implemented these was th that was one. So now the the soil is dehydrated, but it's de it's uh, less dehydrated than it could be, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So uh, what I ended up with in my world was a situation where my uh, my floodings sort of started happening fairly randomly, uh, but they are still controlled by the weather, and so I've kept it, and I, I like the system. So there you have it guys. These are the three rain detectors you can do in vanilla Minecraft. Um, I'm gonna go over to a creative version of my single player world and show you my setup for these. Okay guys, we are in Osiris in my, cre in my single player survival world, but I've gone into creative mode just to show you here. Um, and here we have a water stream that is currently active. You can see there's a dispenser there. And it's running down the hill here, and uh, that is controlled by this here rain detector. So uh, it's the, the same setup that I showed you, it's just that the redstone signal goes in here and down below and around to this dispenser. Um, and now let's see, how do I get out of here? Uh, over here by the big cliff here, I have uh, several of these things installed. So there's one here. Um, there's one there and there and so on and uh, let's see the easiest way to see them I reckon is to break in somewhere around here don't worry I'll fix this before I go into survival mode again guys and uh, so yeah it's the same setup except we have a big mess uh, over here with various leads going everywhere and they're all controlled by one rain detector which is this here one up here oh I could have gone in, in that way couldn't I so that's how this works I will switch on the rain and we shall see what the hill looks like after a while So here we go, we have uh, rainage and we have flooding coming up uh, from the mountain down here, actually uh, I need to fix that at some point, but we have uh, a big one here as well and over here and actually I have some on this uh, these other hills as well and I have one up here on this floating island leading down like that. So there you have it guys, three rain detectors and a donkey. Um, the, the cool thing about these uh, little devices is that there are endless applications. I've just shown you one, which is to control flooding. Uh, but you can uh, surely think of other things you can do with a simple little device like this. Or a little bit more complicated one like this. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.